Hey guys, so I am doing some Christmas prop shopping and I thought to take you guys along for the prop shopping. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to two different locations. I'm going to Miniso and I'm going to um, ShopRite. So I'll keep you guys posted. So the first thing I did was just to go around looking at what they had available because I had some things in mind already. So I didn't just want to buy. <laughs> you know when you go shopping and you just start to buy anything that catches your attention and in the end when you go home you realize that ha, I didn't even buy the things that I really needed. So the first thing I did was just go around and see what was available and then make a mental note like compare this to what i was what i wanted to use the pictures for guys these people have an entire aisle for just christmas props it's beautiful all right let's go let's guys there is a lot of <laughs> There were a lot of Christmas props here, yeah. not just props, things that you can use to decorate your home. Like this one, you can put them on trees, you could just put them on the scene when you're taking a photo. This Christmas um, hat, you can just put them over, like if you're styling a, a drink, you could just put it over the drink, like on the cap of the drink. I was getting a lot of ideas so i don't know if it's just me but i feel like this year a lot of stores really invested in christmas probably because i remember coming to the mall last year and i don't think i saw this variety of um props so it was really really it was impressive to see the list and and all so if you are looking for where to get affordable christmas props I would advise that you come to the mall and um, just go around looking at what's available and um, you'll find something good at This cap, that is one six.
our house at night. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, it is Christmas Day. We can put some ornaments on the Christmas tree. Guys, so um, I was only able to buy some things from Miniso because there are things that are quite unique and um, you know when you're looking for props you want things that are small size so it doesn't overwhelm what you're photographing so um, I had to I didn't see those things I didn't see a lot of fine things at ShopRite I had to go to Miniso to buy those things and it was it was a good buy so if you're looking for Christmas props that are a bit different and still attractive then just make out time before they clear it make out time and um, go to the mall check shop right they might stock up by then check mini so and then buy at least I've given you guys an idea of how much those things are, so you know how much to go with all right guys we are heading back to the studio now don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching when I was done with the shopping, I had a shoot the following week and I thought to film in beats to just show you guys some BTS. And um, so this grill company, Beetle Grills, the CEO reached out to me and said they just started their company last month, but they had they didn't have pictures to bring the comp the business online and so she needed me to create beautiful images and what they could post online i'm like okay i'm available they made deposits and um, shared the kind of images they wanted me to use for inspiration shoot day they came through the ceo was around and um, i think the chef from their from their company so their their menu is quite simple they have bole they have potatoes they have this grilled fish that looks really good they have grilled catfish and grilled mackerel and they also have pepper sauce to go with it i loved their packaging and all so this is me um just trying to have get as many angles as possible because i did the overhead but i wasn't really impressed with the overhead sh angle shots so i decided to do some 45 degrees and just tilt a bit you know this photography thing especially for food angles are very important and then i also encourage her to come and be my hand model so i could do an action shot to show people that the eating process is taking place and this is my favorite shot from this shoot it was really really good it was clean it was clear and it made the food look very appetizing now this is their pasta with dodo and turkey this is their um, rice their special fried rice with turkey i loved the size of their protein by the way it looks good i think she said this protein is one eight so for that price and considering how expensive food in ingredients are now it was actually a very it looked good and i was really impressed so this meal goes with coleslaw a lot more coleslaw than this but this was just for the purpose of the shoot and so this is me cleaning away the oil stains from the plate so that i don't have too much post edit wahala and as i was doing that i mistakenly touched the rice <laughs> as you can see so the mold the rice that was molded almost came apart so i just had to just generally put it back so this is the shawarma and it looked good too and um this is it in the camera Trying to style this for the picture was a bit tough because it became, they, they, they brought it and we didn't photograph it in the beginning. So a little bit of it got soggy, but I'm happy that we still got a good, a good shot in the end. So, okay, so this is me just shooting the, taking the last shot before, the last shot of the food before going on to take the, the um, palm wine and of course the juice. Love it when my clients are a part of the creative process and I liked that this client was there from beginning to the end, not just physically present but mentally present. 
so i've attached the images and this is what it looked like thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe